Shalom, I'm Israel. This is your brother, Al Shalom, I'm from the Defenders of the Gospel of Israelite Camp. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash, double honors to the Apostle of the Elders of Great Millstone, salutations to the Akim out here pushing his truth for sincerity, peace and blessings to the Israelite foreigners got on four corners of the earth that looks and talks to other nations that there was um, language that they were scattered to. And peace and blessings to the one third men, women, children, following law, statutes, and commandments that best of their ability, and also following following the prophets. And uh, peace and blessings to the uh, to the uh, men pushing this truth with sincerity and diligence. You know, I don't know if I said that yet, but peace and blessings. Um, yeah, I want to uh, do a little quick touch up on America being destroyed. You know. And one of the main reasons that America is being destroyed is because this uh this place is full of uh blood and lies, you know, and uh robbery, you know. Uh and the main people that the uh that these Babylonians speaking about these Edomites who they robbed were the children of Israel, they came to the Americas and robbed the so called Latinos. You know, which are the uh the north the northern kingdom, the Latinos and Native Americans they came over here to drop their resources and land. You know, and um think it and they and these and they think that it's okay. You know, and they uh tell uh Jake to just get over it, and then during the sixteen hundreds they brought this other kingdom over here, which is the so called Negroes, Negro people. They brought uh, they brought us over here, and cargo slave ships, and had us go into hardcore bondage. When really it's the Lord punishing us for our iniquities that we committed, you know. But these but these damn devils that put that uh they built this society on the blood, sweat, and tears of the Israelites, you know. Let me bring out this first scripture. This is the uh, the book of uh, Nahum. Chapter three, verse one, and it says, "Woe to the bloody, bloody city! It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not, and who is to pray? The Israelites, man. And we can't depart nowhere, nowhere we go. We can't. We the Israelite man, the Israelites can't go nowhere. You know, we've been here for over four hundred plus years, five hundred. 500 plus years um really 700 plus years you know in captivity you know speaking of, of all israel all together you know it's in the whole 12 tribes of israel you know and we have been robbed our blood has been shed on this land especially the uh so-called native americans and uh indigenous tribes um and plus the slaves that was brought over here you know what i'm saying from the southern kingdom all of our blood has been shedded on on this land, even till today with these cops shooting us down, you know what I'm saying, getting away with it. And then and then uh you got uh Jake they started bring back lynching. You know, Jake is uh you find us you starting to see um commonly a lot of more Jakes being lynched, you know. Which they've been doing that, but they've been labeling it, labeling it as suicides. But they know damn well ain't no, ain't no, ain't no black man finna, finna hang himself in no fucking tree, you know. But, man, what the main thing that I was putting bringing out is that that's uh this is one of the reasons why this place gotta be destroyed, you know, and also because, because, you know, what I'm saying all the wicked things that this place is about, man. This place has got to go. Thus said the Lord. We go to this is the book of Revelation, chapter ten, verse eight, and it says, "And their bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified." And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall 
see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their bodies to be put in graves. You know, but as the scripture said, um, this is uh where the dead bodies lay in the street of the of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And what I mean by dead bodies mean we're spiritually dead. Uh, and also a fit of uh, a biblical, uh, also a prophecy on Jacob's trouble, um, during the times that we're going to come to, you know. But mainly, uh, this place is called Sod uh, spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, because one of the main things that's getting pushed in this uh, society is homosexuality, ped pedophilia, you know what I'm saying, and animal and other abominable acts, but mainly homosexuality and, and let and lesbian lesbianism you know the lgbt community you know and uh also this is called spiritual egypt because this is the land where um where the israelites uh, were put in hardcore slavery man just like in the time of egypt when egypt just mean bondage you know you know and um and just like how we got exited out of Egypt, we're going to be exited out of, uh, out of here at Babylon the Great, aka America. You know, the only thing different about this, it won't, every, every Israelite won't make it out of, out of this, ex, as it is, as exodus. You know, only the elect will, you know, that come back to the law, statutes, and commandments and endure until the end, you know. Because that's the main thing, you know, you have to endure it to the end. You know, and this was also the place where uh, our Lord was crucified at, you know, actually, this is the same generation that crucified our Lord, you know, I'm going to bring that scripture on next, but the reason why I said uh, this, uh, this is the place where also our Lord was crucified, crucified, his image was crucified over here, man, don't nobody know the true image of of the most high i mean of of the our, of our lord and savior who the word and is called jesus christ they paint him as a first off they paint him as a white man with uh blonde hair and blue eyes and him being uh a, a just a, a a beta male you know a, a soft-spoken man who uh who who Basically, they just paint the Lord as he's just a, a, excuse my language, but a bitch, you know. Uh, like he had a, a feminine spirit when that was never the case. Um, our Lord and Savior was an all-star man. You know, he, he didn't take no shit. You know, when he uh, came on the scene... You know what I'm saying? When he came around the disciples, this the, the disciples had to be on point. You know, because our Lord and Savior was a, was about no games, man. But in this land, you know what I'm saying, they uh downplay Yahweh uh so called Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew. You know. But that's why he's coming back here. Uh, to set to set the record straight and and to get and to claim what is his, you know, because this this world is is really his. This is is really the Israelite world, but it's going to start off with him, the kings of all kings, which is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, then King David, then one hundred forty four thousand elect, you know, and everybody's going to see it and every and every eye shall see him and bow to him, you know. But let me bring this out. Here's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so am I. You know, so all, so all these, uh, so everybody is going to see our Lord and Savior coming. You know what I'm saying? Even the ones who pierced him, even the Roman soldiers who pierced the Lord. You know, this is the same generation who killed them. So you two third niggas and these and these Roman soldiers, you know, and these Edomites, they gonna see everybody is gonna see the Lord, man. So if you're an Israelite, you either gonna you either gonna get with the program, get on the Lord's right side, or you're gonna get 
you gonna get on you gonna be on this left side be and be destroyed. Like the uh, scripture said in um in Proverbs, hand though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. And this place has gotta go for the uh for the wickedness that has been brought on this earth and mainly for the uh for the violence that's been done against Jacob. But let me give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Shalom.